We have been hearing about Samsung upgrading its camera from 180 megapixel to 200 megapixel, but now no word about it front camera. So today I will be talking about Samsung Galaxy's 23 Ultra font camera. Watch till the end to know what is happening to Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and its front camera, upgrade or downgrade. We also have a significant Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra update towards the end of the week, which includes information on the selfie camera and the zoom or telephoto camera. I would like to remind you that the newest rumors set the phone's release at the start of February 2023. Like the S23 and S23 Plus, the Galaxy S23 Ultra will only be available in a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 model this time around, without Exynos. The 200-megapixel main camera on the S23 Ultra will be different from the ones on the Xiaomi 12T Pro and Motorola Edge 30 Ultra, as we already know. A custom one with 0.6 micron pixels is presented here. With it, we'll be able to take 12 or 50 megapixel pictures. The sensor will be an ISOCELLHP, as opposed to the ISOCELLHBX on the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus and the HP3 on the Motorola Edge 30 Ultra. The Ultra version will have an S slash 1.7 aperture and a 1 first 3 inch sensor size. On the new device, Samsung would retain the same telephoto camera configuration as the S21 Ultra and S22 Ultra, a telephoto camera with a 10x optical zoom, and a 3x optical zoom will be purchased as a result. Both will have 10 megapixel sensors, but Samsung will this time choose different vendors. The business to choose would be Sunny Optical. On the flagship, they will also include the 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera. Well, the selfie camera is the first improvement that we have reached. The source asserts that we will see a sensor with a lesser resolution in place of the 40 megapixels on the S21 Ultra and S22 Ultra. I don't believe in the megapixel competition. Thus, it would be far from me to critique that. Although some reports claim it has a 10-megapixel front camera, the front camera will have 12 megapixels. The new sensor will have larger pixels than the existing 40 megapixel sensor, which is the key distinction. We are not concerned about the resolution decrease because we have seen what 12 megapixel selfie cameras from Apple and 10 megapixel selfie shooters from Samsung in previous Galaxy S models can do. So, what do you guys think about the new selfie sensor of Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra that may come with a downgrade next year? Do you believe it will be able to get better selfie performance after downgrade? Please share your important thought in the comment section. See you soon in my next video. Thanks for watching.